2016, what uh, what number is this for you? Number seven. Number seven. Yeah. Um, so you, you've had some success with this team. Um, tell, them about, tell us about the team. Uh, it's, a, it's a nice group of dogs. There, a lot of them are related. The four-year-old, most of them are four. I think 13 out of the 16 are four-year-old dogs that I raised all together as one big group of pups. Um, so I've been racing them for the last two years and building them towards better and better things. So I think this is the first year they're real prime. Four, five, and six, I think, is where they're really, they'll really shine. And so we'll see what we can do. So on, with, now that you've, you've kind of got some veteran status here, do you start planning right now what some strategy is, or do you really is it really dependent on what the trail brings to you? Yeah, I mean, we can. I, I have a plan for the first several hundred miles, and then we'll have to go off of the, how the dogs look and what the weather does and trail and all that stuff. So, yeah, I mean, I'm pretty positive of what I'll do from here to probably Roan or Nikolai, and then we'll, we'll see after that. Um, how, uh, how? Tell us about your training. You, you've done some new things. Uh, mm -hmm. Talk about that a little bit. Um, yeah, I trained in Bethel till pretty much the Cusco, and then after that we've been up in uh, Fairbanks at a new place there. Um, it's afforded us probably our best training um, the month leading up to the race here, so I'm excited about that. I think, I think it's probably been the best, the best last three or four weeks of preparation leading up to this, so that's exciting, and um, but we'll see, we'll see if, what it means. So aside from the competitive part, you know, which is prime focus, uh -huh. um, you, I, I imagine you're getting ready to get out on the trail. I mean, tell us about how you're feeling today. I mean, yeah, it's a, it's fun. It's, I mean, it's fun to do all this and stuff, but you know, we spend most of the winter training our dogs by ourselves. So it's a little overwhelming the last three, four days in Anchorage with all the stuff, and it's actually really relaxing to get out in the first few days of the race um, when your head's still somewhat clear and you can just relax a little bit. If you forgot anything, you forgot it. There's really nothing you can do about it. So you just focus on your team and, and uh, yeah, it's exciting to get out there. What are you hearing about the trail? Um, it's been warm, but the Alaska Range sounds like they have some snow for once. Uh, tell us what you've, what, what you've heard. A um, little bit of everything. It sounded like plenty of snow and now maybe maybe snow but a little bit crusty and rutted and so I don't I don't really don't know what to think we're gonna find out when we get out there <laughs> these uh, now who's leading you this year who, who you got for leaders uh, there's four or five different leaders that'll take a turn um, Palmer's the main the main guy but um, he'll be helped by Mosley and Stella and Arbor or um, Morrow and uh, Jace, so those five will probably get the most of the leading, and then um, who knows? At the end of the race, you might have somebody new step up. Sure. Now, is that generally how you do it? I mean, you, do you have a team that has a lot of leaders to choose from? Is this is this new for you to have that much? Uh, I don't know. I think that's five isn't too isn't that much actually. Um, some guys probably coming in here with half a dozen or eight or more nice leaders so we'll see I mean the ones the ones I have are nice if they can stay healthy and stay in there I'll have plenty of confidence in them right okay well Pete good luck and we'll be following you along the trail all right thank you